Geeks Worldwide, welcome to a long overdue episode of We Like Toys. I'm your host, Darth Sparrow, aka Will, and I'm excited to be back with all you beautiful people doing another unboxing video. Today we have an amazing piece from our friends over at Diamond Select. They have sent us this amazing PVC diorama statue of Thor from Thor Ragnarok. We're going to open this bad boy in a minute, but before we do that, let's go ahead and turn the box around. Uh, it comes in this beautiful four color window presentation box. And you can see we've got some artwork with Thor and Gladiator Hulk from Thor Ragnarok, which is by far my favorite of the franchise. It's just such a good, funny, action-packed movie. And if you are a fan of the movie as well, you're going to want to pick this statue up because let's look at that. It looks like Chris Hemsworth. It's crazy stuff, man. Look at how detailed this is, and we're going to get to see that in just a moment. If you look at the back of the box here, we've got a little description of Thor, as if we don't know who he is. This is a 9-inch scale PVC diorama of Thor based on his appearance in Marvel's Thor Ragnarok. Features a detailed sculpt with exacting paint applications sculpted by Rocco Tartamella over there at Diamond Select. This is part of their gallery series of PVC statues. And we're going to open the box right now so we can take a better look at the figure, guys. Friends, we have unboxed the mighty God of Thunder, Thor himself. We brought Mjolnir along for the review here because I felt like uh, we needed to have this along for this awesome statue so we can do it proper justice. Let's take a look at the statue up close from our friends over at Diamond Select Toys. Now, if you've ever bought a piece from Diamond Select, you've come to expect this kind of detail, quality, and just awesomeness when you open one of their pieces. Not only just their PVC statues and dioramas, but we're talking all the cool action figures they put out with. They put out uh, mini mates, all kinds of stuff. There's something from like every fandom that Diamond Select puts out. So I'm sure a lot of you have purchased stuff from them. But, you know, it, it's, it shouldn't surprise me, but it still does. Like how amazing they do on these type of PVC statues. Uh, if we go in close here, we can see a great likeness to Mr. Hemsworth himself, who plays Thor, of course. You can see they did, they did a really nice job of sculpting in that hair and, you know, giving it separation and texture. I mean, really gives it the look of hair. Uh, there's some nice uh, paint applications for his beard, which looks like a beard to me. Uh, good, good detail on the face. If we go down a little bit to his armor, we can see that they've done some really awesome paint washes on the armor to make it look kind of metal and leathery and rough. You can see all the little details going across the chest belt here, uh, all the way down to the brooches that uh, his cape attaches to his armor on. Uh, just all the way down, there's some great things going on with the paint and the sculpting. Uh, there's a little belt buckle there, you can see some more detailing there. All the way down to these little metal rivets that go across his belt. Uh, looking over here at his arm, you can see the bracer with some great detailing on the straps. And of course, we have Mjolnir here. So obviously this was before his good old sister destroyed his hammer. I know, still, still very upset about that. But if we look closely at Mjolnir, you can see they even sculpted uh, the etchings and the runes on the ends there, which is really great. I mean, you wouldn't think that they would go to this level of detail, but it's Diamond Select, they do it every time. Beautiful looking all the way down to the handle with the uh, leather look and the metal separations. They even got the little, uh, you know, little cord string here that he holds his hammer from. Let's look a little bit more down at the pants. You can see they did a really nice job of weathering here. It gives them a nice worn, dirty look. You've got some stitching that you can see on the pants and the leather part of the flap here. And if we go down to the boots here, you can see there's some cool strapping done on the boots. I mean, every little detail of his costume is pretty well represented on uh, a statue that's only nine inches tall. And I mean, you know, most of the time you lose some of the detail on some other figures and statues of this size, but not from Diamond Select. Oh no. And if we look at the base here, this is really cool. I love this base. It's got 
a lot of detail going on in it. Uh, it definitely looks like the planet he was on when he was uh, trapped in the cage, you know, in his dealings with Surtur. Uh, you can see they went as far as to put like these little like lava flows coming out of the rock, which is really great. I think it just adds so much depth and detail to this, uh, to the base here of the diorama. And you can see there's definitely some different colors. They use a lot of reds and yellows and they don't just stick with one red color, you know, didn't make it generic looking at all. There's some cool washes going along all along the rocks here, which really makes them pop and stand out. And from there, we'll go up to the back of the statue. You can see his cape is nicely textured. Uh, a lot of different colors that they use. Instead of just using a one red or a burgundy color, they definitely give you some nice gradient shading with the colors, which is lovely. It really makes the cape stand out. And then there's a back shot of the hair. You can see all the texturing there. And we have the uh, Asgardian scrunchie right in the middle there. And then here's the other arm with uh, another bracer. And you can even see like they did a little detail, like a little metal buckle there. And uh, his hands, I mean hands are, hands look good. They look like hands. My friends, I cannot say enough amazing things about this epic PVC diorama from our friends at Diamond Select Toys. If you want your very own Thor PVC diorama, please go check them out at shop.diamondselecttoys.com for your very own Thor PVC diorama or a whole host of other amazing Marvel products as well as products from all the other licenses that Diamond Select carries on their website. Uh, check them out. This statue retails on their site for $45. I mean, that's a small amount of change for this amazing piece that is sure to bring some electricity to the Marvel fan in your life. I mean, who would not want this thing adorning their collectible shelf? I mean, come on guys, go check them out. There's a whole bunch of other amazing statues, toys, uh, everything under the sun from all kinds of different fandoms. You're gonna find it there on shop.diamondselecttoys.com. You could also check out your local comic book shop as most of them carry Diamond Select Toys. And uh, folks, that's it for me. I hope uh, that this helps maybe for some of you who are still looking for some last minute Christmas gift ideas for the Marvel fans in your life. Um, I'm sure that they would love to have this beautiful piece on their shelf, just as much as I know I'm gonna enjoy having this guy on my collectible shelf. So thank you again, Diamond Select Toys, for sending us this guy to review. As always, please continue to check us out on the GWW.com for all the latest and greatest, and not just tour reviews, but of course in comics, movie, TV, video games, tech, and so much more. We got a little bit of everything for all you amazing people over there at the GWW.com. Thanks for listening and joining us. I hope you all have an amazing holiday season. As always, I am Dar Sparrow, and I will catch you on the Geek Side.